Hi guys. Hi. Hello. Hi. Happy Wednesday. I hope you're all very well. Uh, it's nice to virtually not see you but say hello to you. I hope you're all really, really well and ready for today's story. Now, today's story is all about a lack of clothing, which sounds inappropriate on a uh, uh, an internet platform, but it's okay. It's called The Emperor's New Clothes. Um, so that's our story today. So before we start our story, I would like to sing hello. Now, today I don't have a list of names, so I apologise in advance that I can't sing hello to you, but I thought we could all just sing hello to everyone all together. Are you ready? We're going to start. We're going to go sing, sing, sing hello, sing hello to everyone. Sing, sing, sing hello, sing hello to everyone. La 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 Sing, sing, sing hello, sing hello to everyone. Sing, sing, sing hello, sing hello to everyone. La 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 Give yourselves a big clap. Well done. Excellent singing. Now, there is a special someone's birthday today. Now, Nova, it's her birthday. So I thought we could all sing happy birthday to Nova. Hi. So we're going to sing happy birthday. Do you know this one? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you know this one. You ready? We're going to go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nova. Happy birthday to you. Shall we give her a big hip hip hooray already? Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Well, I hope you have a very special birthday today. And the sun is shining, so I'm sure you can enjoy yourself in the sunshine. So before we have our story, I thought we could sing some songs. And how are you feeling today? Are you feeling a bit oh, grumpy or oh, crickety back? Eek. So I think we should do some stretches before we do our songs. So can you stretch out wide like this? Yeah. Really good. And can you stretch up high? Yeah. And down low? Oh, really good. And shall we roll our shoulders back? That's because mine, yours are probably fine. It's your nice and young, but mine are a bit, oh, all a bit tight. So we're going to roll them back three times. You ready? We're going to count. One, two, three. Good job. Should we do it again? One, two, three. Good job. Now we're going to roll them forward three times. Okay. Can we count? Ready? One, two, three. Good job. Should we do it again? Ready? One, two, Three, very good, very good. I'm oh, feeling a bit more refreshed now. Excellent. So, I think we can have a bit of a a shaking. You ready to do a bit of shaking? Have you got a shaker at home, or you could use a toy or anything you can find, and you can shake it. Just move to move your body. You don't need a shaker to do this. We're going to do. Ah, you ready? Some shaking singing. Can you shake your shaker? Can you shake along with me? Can you shake your shaker? Can you shake along with me? Can you shake them high and shake them low and put them on your head? Good job. Can you shake your shaker? Can you shake along with me? Can you take shake your shaker? Can you shake along with me? Can you shake them high and shake them low and put them on your nose. Whoa. Can you find your nose? There it is. Can you shake it, shake it, can you shake it along with me? Can you shake it, shake it, can you shake it along with me? Can you shake them high and shake them low and put them on your ear? Ooh, very good. Last time. 
Can you shake it, shake it, can you shake it along with me? Can you shake it, shake it, can you shake it along with me? Can you shake them high and shake them low and put them on your tummy? Where's your tummy? Where's your tummy? Oh, my tummy's down here. Give yourselves a clap. Well done, everyone. Excellent singing and joining in. So, <laughs> did you hear something? <gasps> Who's that? Who makes that noise? Someone with a orange beak. Someone with blue feet. Who is it? Who is it? It's Boris. Boris the bird, Boris the bird, where are you? Here I am, here I am, and how do you do? It's Boris the bird, should we say hi? Hi Boris, nice to see you. You're looking very, quite well groomed. <gasps> Did you give yourself a haircut? Oh, very good, there's necessity. I think you've, you've done a really good job there, Boris. Well done. So, Boris, what no <coughs> What noise does Boris make? Can you do it, ready? One, two, three, <coughs> can you help me do it? Do it again. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, that's so good. Right, one more practice before we sing the song. One, two, three. Ah! Excellent, you're ready. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. Ah! Can you get the beat? Hey there bird, sitting in a tree, singing and a squawking so happily. What's that you've got on your head? Won't you tell me my feathery friend? Well, I'm Boris the bird I got. Black feathers, I'm Boris the bird I got. Black feathers, I'm Boris the bird I got. Black feathers and I make a noise like this. <laughs> Hey there bird, sitting in a tree, singing and a squawking so happily. What's that you've got on your back? Won't you tell me my feathery friend? Well, I'm Boris the bird, I got lovely wings. Boris the bird, I got lovely wings. I'm Boris the bird, I got lovely wings. And I make a noise like this. <coughs> Hey there bird, sitting in a tree, singing and a squawk so happily. What's that you've got on your feet? Won't you tell me my feathery friend? Well, I'm Boris the bird, I got blue feet. Boris the bird, I got blue feet. I'm Boris the bird, I got blue feet. And I make a noise like this. <coughs> and I fly away like this. Whoosh. Bye, Boris. Bye. It's always nice to see Boris, isn't it? He's looking very, very well. Give yourselves a big clap for excellent joining in. Thank you for helping me sing. Now, oh, I've got some other friends. Look. Can you see? Oh. <gasps> Look, it's one, two, three, four, five little men in a flying saucer. Can you see? Look, wow. Can we sing it together? Five little men in a flying circle. So, sorry, I'll start again. Five little men in a flying saucer flew around the world one day. They looked left and right and they didn't like the sight. So one man flew away. Whoosh. Can you help me do a big whoosh, ready? Whoosh, really good. Four little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right and they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh, good job. Three little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right and they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh, good job. Two little men in a flying saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right and they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. Whoosh! Good job. 
One little man in a flagging saucer flew round the world one day. They looked left and right and they didn't like the sight, so one man flew away. <gasps> Whoosh! Give yourselves a big clap for excellent flying saucer. So well done. That was very, very good. Shall we do incy wincy? Can you get your little spidery fingers? Because how many legs does a spider have? Can you remember? Is it C? One, two, three, eight legs. Shall we count to eight? You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. Oh, eight legs. That's a lot of legs, isn't it? How many legs do you have? Hmm, not sure. Do you have three, four? I've got two. You might have two. Can you count them now? One, two. You might have two. You might, I'm not sure. You might have four. You might be a cat. <gasps> I'm not sure. Shall we sing Incy Wincy? You ready? The Incy Wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and whoosh the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And the Incy Wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Shall we do it again? The incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and whoosh the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And the incy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. <gasps> There's a spider on your nose, on your nose. Oh no! There's a spider on your nose, on your nose. Oh no! He's moving very quickly. I think he's heading for your toes. There's a spider on your toes, on your toes. Can you find your toes with your fingers? There's a spider on your toes, on your toes. Oh dear, there's a spider on your toes, on your toes. Oh dear, he's moving very quickly. He's setting for your nose. Ah! There's a spider back on your nose, on your nose. Oh dear. Good job. Give yourselves a big clap. Excellent singing again. So I think we could do one more song and it involves some marching. So I need you to do your marching. Can you give me a, we're gonna go into the army now. We're gonna go a turn, jump. Very good, can you do that? Can you give me a salute? Mm, very good, a turn, jump. Oh, very good. And if you want to stand up, you could stand up and be really, really straight. Cause we're going to do some marching and get our knees up really, really high when we're marching. Can you give me a salute again, ready? A turn, chun. Oh, very good. One more time, a turn, chun. So we're gonna stand up and lift our knees up really tall. And we're gonna march and do the Grand Old Duke of York. You ready? The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, much, 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 great marching, much, 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 much. The Grand Old Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill, reached up high, and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Oh, give yourselves a big clap. Well done, guys. Excellent, excellent marching. Excellent singing as well today. I can hear you. I can hear you all the way from here, from my house, house where I live. I live in Forest Hill, so I can hear you. I can hear wherever you are right now. I can hear you. Can you shout me a big hello, ready? We're going to shout hello in one, two, three. Then you have to shout hello. Hello, Holly. And I can try and listen here. You ready? One, two, three. Yeah! Hi! I can hear you. Should we do it again? Ready? One, two, three. Hello. It's nice to know you're there. So, listen, listen. What can you hear? Listen, listen. My story time is here. It's now. Now, my story today is called The Emperor's New Clothes. Yes, it is. Now, an emperor is a kind of king, someone who commands a nation or a country. It's someone with a lot of control, and it's kind of like a king or a queen. So this emperor wore a crown look. Oh, yes. 
Maybe you could make your own crown today to be an emperor. Now, this emperor lived a long, long, long time ago, but he had a fantastic life. Now, this emperor had lots and lots of money and lots of control and could tell everyone what to do. The emperor would walk around and say, stop, and everybody would freeze. Can you help me do that? You know, walk around, you could do some dancing or a little bit of moving. And the emperor would say, stop, and you freeze. Ready, should we do it again? Very good at listening to an emperor. Ready, should we do it again? Do some dancing, Philip, stop! So the emperor had a lot of control. And this emperor, he wasn't, it wasn't particularly nice, you know? He spent a lot of time looking in the mirror, making sure he was kind of wearing the nicest clothes. And he was a bit rude to people. He had, he had the best horse in the whole kingdom. And he used to go riding on it. And even the horse was a bit, I don't know, a bit rude. He went, no, can you make a horse's noise? A rude horse's noise. No, can you help me do it? Ready? One, two, three. No, that's very good. So he went off riding on his very rude horse. It was the best one. It was the fastest one. So should we get on our horse? And I'd like, can you show me a, a, a really sophisticated horse? Mm, like that. Very good. Okay, we're going to do horsey, horsey, don't you stop. And you can do a regal wave if you like, because the emperor spent a lot of time out looking around his kingdom, being a bit mean to people. I don't like those shoes, he used to say. I don't like that top. How rude. Oh, I don't like your haircut. Well, I mean, you can't get a haircut at the moment, but still rude, still rude, isn't it? So we're going to be, do, be doing a bit of a nasty horsey, horsey. You ready? Clip, clop, clippity, clop, clip, clop, clippity, clop. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go, clippity, clop. Your tail goes swish and your wetty wheels go round. Giddy up with homeward bound. Clip, clop, clippity, clop. Don't like your shoes, clip, clop, clippity, clop. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go clippity clop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. Don't like that. I, uh, what colour are those shoes? It's a bit fashion obsessed. He also went on his boat a lot. He loved to go sailing. And he'd go out on the water and he'd criticise the seagulls. He'd be row, row, rowing his boat and he'd say, oh, no, 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 no. I don't like you seagulls. And, oh, no, fishes, you're not quite good enough. It's a bit mean, so. Shall we do row, row our boat? Ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the street. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a mean emperor, don't forget to go like this. Can you do that? Can we do that one more time? Ready? Let's row boat again. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. And if you see a mean emperor, don't forget to go like this. <laughs> Can you do it again? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh, he was very, very mean. He was so mean. And he also, you know what he had? A rocket. He was so rich that he used to go up into space. Yeah, he did. So we're going to do zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Are you ready? Because he had he had more money than sense, to be honest. So we're going to go like this. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We'll be there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one. Zoom. Can you help me do it again? Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. <laughs> zoom, 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 we'll be there very soon. In five, four, three, two, one, zoom! Excellent job, everyone. And even in space. You're too twinkly, he said to the stars. I don't like you, he said to 
the planet. Oh, he was he was a very bit of a mean emperor. But you know what? This emperor loved his clothes. He used to dress in the finest fabrics that money could buy. He would have lovely waistcoats, lovely shawls, lovely cloaks. Can you see all the different colours? Oh, it was so... He loved fashion. And he had the best dressmakers and coat makers and shoemakers in the whole of the land. He had scarves and hats. Do you like, do you have some clothes at home? Coats, and maybe today you might have your summery hats. Yeah, he, he had a lot of clothes. Now one day, there was rumour in the town where the emperor lived that some new, very new fancy designers had moved in. Hmm. Now, one of the king, the, the emperor's friends came and said, Ah, oh, I've met the most fantastic designers, people that design and make clothes. And I just think that you would love them, Emperor. You would absolutely love them. Well, said the Emperor, I am the Emperor and I have the best things in the whole of the kingdom. So send them in, send them in. So one day these designers arrived. Now the designers, they're a bit cunning a bit sneaky, and they knocked on the palace door. Uh, rat-a-tat-tat, a uh, rat-a-tat-tat, is there anybody in? Have a rat-a-tat-tat, a uh, rat-a-tat-tat, a uh, rat-a-tat-tat, is there anybody in? Have a rat-a-tat-tat, a ding-dong, a ding-dong, is there anybody in? Have a rat-a-tat-tat, a ding-dong, a ding-dong, is there anybody in? Have a rat-a-tat-tat. Now, they opened the door of the palace and in came the two designers. Hello! 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 Now, can you see what animals they are? They're foxes! What noise does a fox make? Do you know? Kind of a, you might hear them. I hear them a lot in my outside there. They go, <coughs> screaming. They're very noisy. So can we try and make a fox noise? Ready? One, two, three. That's very good. Or you could do a snuffly. <laughs> they do a lot of sniffing, don't they? Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> very good. Now these foxes, hello, hello, was very, very cunning and very, very sneaky. And you know what? They'd heard that the emperor was one of the meanest, most vainest people in the whole of the kingdom. They wanted to teach him a bit of a lesson. Okay, you ready? So they came in to see the emperor. <sighs> oh, hello. Hello, hello. I hear that you're the best designers in the whole of the kingdom. Oh, yes, your highness. Yes, yes, of course, your highness. And I hear that you're making the most beautiful clothes. Yes, that's true. Yes, that's true. But where is your fabric? Well, your highness, said the bigger of the fox. This is the big one. You know what? The fabric we use for our clothes is so fantastic and so expensive that only the most fantastic people can see it. The most, the most tasteful people. What? Yes. So of course, your highness, look. And he opened his bag and pulled out nothing. But, but the emperor didn't want to appear silly. So the fox pulled out some fabric. Can you see? There was nothing there. Now, oh, said the, the emperor, who was so vain. He just wanted everyone to believe him and, and think that he knew best. Only the most vain, is, but the most fantastic people can see the fabrics that we use for our clothes. Very well, very well, said the emperor. And measure me up. So the fox met, took his measurements and went away and started to stitch the clothes together. Now, that was a bit silly, isn't it? They were just tricking the emperor. They started to sew with the fabric. Look, there is nothing there, is there? Can you make the noise of a sewing machine? Can you do it again? Ready? It will be ready. In two days, said the foxes. And they went away and they did nothing. They were tricking the emperor. So 
so. The day of the fitting arrived. The emperor came into the room. Oh, fantastic. I can't wait to see my amazing new clothes. Here you go, your highness, said the foxes. And they handed him nothing. But you know what? The, the emperor was too proud. He said, lovely. Only the most brainy, most fantastic people can see these clothes. So I definitely can see these clothes. So he proceeded to put the clothes on. Uh, okay. He just left on his vest and pants and put on the clothes. Can you put on the invisible clothes like this? Oh. Oh. Don't forget the hood. Oh, there's a hood. Don't forget the zip. zip and the buttons. Can you do the zip and the buttons? Zip. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, your highness. Oh, your highness, said the foxes. You look fantastic. Uh, uh, thank you. Shall we get your friends to see what they think? Okay. All the people who lived in the kingdom and in the palace came in and said, You look amazing, Emperor! Because they all knew that only the most brainiest, most amazing people could see the fabric. Even though the Emperor was wearing just his pants and vest, you look fantastic, Your Highness! So the Emperor was pretty confident. He thought that, you know what? I can, I can see these amazing clothes and he decided to take them out for a spin. So he went out on his horse and rode through the town, oh my goodness, wearing just his vest and his pants. Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, because everybody could see his heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose, heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Should we do it again? You ready? Heads, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. So the emperor was wearing his brand new clothes, which didn't really look like anything. And he was riding his horse through the town, thinking he looked so good. Can you brush your shoulders there? Oh, yes, you think. <gasps> Should we get on our horse and should we do a royal wave? Oh, good royal wave. Can you do it like this? Is that a royal wave? Clip, clop, clippity, clop. He's feeling confident. Clip, clop, clippity, clop. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go, clippity, clop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. Now well, the people in the crown started looking. Huh? Why is the emperor uh, just wearing a crown and his vest and pants? They started talking amongst themselves. Oh, it's a bit weird, isn't it? There were some glances at each other. They were a bit scared because, you know, they didn't want to get into trouble with the emperor, but they kept on looking around going, what? What? It's got, it's got, no, it's got, no, it's got no clothes on. What? But the emperor carried on. Horsey, horsey, don't you stop and just let your feet go clippity flop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. And then he carried on until one little boy said, Oi! The little boy. Um, excuse me, Emperor, you've got no clothes on. Then suddenly, the Emperor realised. He looked down and he thought, oh, oh no, how have I been so stupid? I'm just wearing my vest and pants. Oh. He went bright crimson. He was so embarrassed, but he decided to gallop on on his horse, pretending that nothing had happened. So he quickly sped up on his horse and went really, really quickly all the way back to the castle. Can we help? Can you help me to go really, really fast? Ready? 
horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go tippity clop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. And again, we're going to go really quickly. Ready? Horsey, horsey, don't you stop. Just let your feet go tippity clop. Your tail goes swish and your wheels go round. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. Giddy up, we're homeward bound. <gasps> Oh, he got home and put on some clothes. And you know what? It taught him such a big lesson that from then on in, he was the most kindest emperor ever. He went round and gave people gifts. He never was mean. And he always said, I like those shoes. Good work on the fields. Excellent job there. And every day he was nice to everyone. So even though, those two foxes had been a little bit sly and a little bit cheeky. They taught that mean, vain emperor a big lesson and made sure that he then was the nicest emperor you could ever meet. The end. <sighs> I hope you enjoyed my story today. And it was a bit, a bit of a silly one with no clothes on, wasn't it? Now it's time for us to say goodbye. So we can say goodbye, hi. Like that, can you reach up high? Goodbye, love. Goodbye, hi. Goodbye, love. Goodbye, slowly. Goodbye, quick. Goodbye, slowly. Goodbye, quick. I hope you enjoyed the story today, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your Wednesday. And we'll sing goodbye. Sing, sing, sing goodbye, sing goodbye to us. <laughs> Sing, sing, sing goodbye, sing goodbye to us. La 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 la